Hey everyone, we'll go ahead and get started with today's session on getting video in the huddle. My name is Ashley and I am one of the associate education strategists here at Huddle. Highlights, reports, playlists, they all start with video, so we'll cover the different ways you can get your video online into your Huddle library. First, we'll take a look at how to use the Huddle app to record and upload video. Then we'll dive into the web uploader on huddle.com to see how to upload video from a computer. Exchanging video between teams is the easiest way to retrieve film of your opponent, so we'll spend some time learning how to perform a direct exchange. And lastly, we'll talk about some of the online resources that are available to you at all times. Let's start with recording and uploading through the Huddle app. Recording and uploading video through the app on any iOS device is a quick and simple process. Notice that I said iOS device, and that's because currently recording on Android or Microsoft devices is not supported. While you can still view video through the Huddle app on Android devices, you'll need an iOS device, such as an iPad or an iPhone, to record and upload via the Huddle app. It is worth mentioning here that Huddle has a few different apps on the App Store, including the regular Huddle app, Huddle Sideline, and Huddle Focus. For now, we'll be focusing just on the Huddle app, which is highlighted here. When you launch the Huddle app, you'll be greeted with this screen to log in. You will use the same credentials used to log in to Huddle on your computer. Once you've entered your email and password, tap Log In. Open up the Huddle app and tap the three lines in the top left corner to expand your menu. Once that menu is expanded, you'll see similar options here to what you'll find on Huddle.com. If you're on multiple teams and want to switch to a different team to film for, you can tap the team's name here. Then you'll be able to select which team you'd like to film for. Once you have the team selected, you can go back to the menu, and since we're filming a game, you'll tap the game day icon from the menu as shown here. After you tap on game day, you'll see all of your schedule entries that have been entered into Huddle are found here. Find the schedule entry to start recording by swiping left or right, and then by tapping on record the game. If your schedule entry hasn't been added yet, you can do so on the bottom of the screen. Once you tap on record the game, the camera will open up within the Huddle app. To start recording, simply tap on the red button, tap the same button to start and pause the recording during the game. The cloud icon in the upper left hand corner indicates whether or not your iPad is connected to Wi-Fi. If your iPad is connected to Wi-Fi while you're recording, it will also be uploading the film as you're recording, and this cloud will be green. You can still record without Wi-Fi, it just won't start the uploading process until you do get your iPad connected to Wi-Fi. At the end of the game, tap save and exit once, you've done, once you're done recording. Next, we'll talk about the other way to record and upload to Huddle, and that's through using a camera and then uploading those files to Huddle.com. If you recorded your game or practice from a camera, you'll plug the camera into a computer after the recording is complete, then upload the video from the computer into Huddle. After the game, plug your SD card or camera into your computer. You should be prompted to open a folder to view the files on your camera. You'll simply select all these files and drag them to your desktop or another file on your computer. Next, log into Huddle and click on Upload in the upper right-hand corner. First, select which team you'd like to upload to. Next, click Select Files. The files from your computer will appear and you'll choose which files you'd like to upload. If you have a multiple files to upload for one game, hold down the shift key on your keyboard and click on the rest of the files you'd like to upload. Once all the files from one game have been selected, click open. Next, confirm the order of the file so the video uploads in the correct order. Once that is done, click upload. Once the upload has started, you can see the uploading progress in these two places. When the upload is in progress, stay on this page. And if you navigate away from this page, the upload will stop and you'll have to start it over again. While the video is uploading, you can enter in the game details on the right hand side by attaching the video to a schedule entry and giving the video a title. Next, click Save. Once the video has finished uploading, the video will be available to view on your video library by all the coaches and athletes listed on your team. If you'd like to change who can see the video, click on Edit next to Share on the right hand side. The final way to retrieve video is through a direct exchange with an opponent directly in Huddle. One thing I do want to note is that only team admins have the ability to exchange video. If you're looking at your Huddle account and don't see an exchanges tab, then you're not listed as a team admin and you'll want to reach out to a team admin so they can either perform the exchange for you or change you to a team admin. To perform a direct exchange, hover over the exchanges tab and select direct. 
type in the search box to find the team you'd like to exchange with. A quick thing to note is if you search for a team and they don't appear as an option to exchange film with, it means they don't have a Huddle account and you'll have to find another way to exchange film with that team. Then click on the desired team to begin an exchange. From there, you'll choose an exchange type and click Next. Two-way exchanges means each team gets a limited preview of the other's video. Once both sides accept the exchange, the full video can be viewed. A one-way exchange means you just send your video. The other team can watch it right away without having to send anything in return. And requesting a video means you'll send a message requesting video from the other team. Then select a video or videos you'd like to exchange and click Next. With exchanges, you can choose if you want to include game stats with the video. Depending on what you'd like to do, select the appropriate circle and then click the Next button. Type an optional message to the other team, then click Next. Confirm the details of the exchange and click Send Your Video. To accept an exchange, select the exchange you'd like under Active Exchanges. From here, you can either add the video to your library or you can delete the video from the exchange. In this example, we're going to click the blue Add to Video Library button since we want to add this video to our library. Then select a scheduled event you'd like the video saved under or click Add Without Scheduled Event. Select the category as Game Footage, Practice, or Opponent Scout. Click Add to Video Library. Once you do that, the video will be added to your library so you can watch it there. I know we've gone over a lot today, but no need to worry. We are always here to help you out. Before we go, I want to make sure I leave you with some support resources we have to make sure you're always up and running. To get help directly with your Huddle account, click the box in the bottom right corner. Search for whatever question you have regarding Huddle, and you'll instantly be given the tutorial you need. To learn anything about Huddle or if you need a reminder on how to do anything, you can go to huddle.com support to find tutorials, how-to videos, and quick start guides. Now let's dive into a few of our frequently asked questions. Does it matter if I record in portrait mode? Yes, it does matter. We actually want you to be recording in landscape mode instead of portrait mode. Um, landscape mode is just a better video quality and it captures the court just a little bit better or the field better than what the portrait mode does. Do I need Wi-Fi to record? You don't actually need Wi-Fi to record. We recommend recording without Wi-Fi, and once you're done with your game and you're able to connect to a stable Wi-Fi, then that's when we recommend uploading your video. Next question is, how should I organize my files when using the web uploader? Towards the top of the uploading page, there is a drop-down to select how you want the files to upload. Be sure to select original order to keep the files in the correct order as they upload. Uh, usually the file name is the default for uploading videos, but sometimes just when numbers are included in the file name, things can get kind of wonky with that and um, it doesn't upload the video in the correct order. So be sure to double check that if you are using file name, the files are in the correct order. If not, you'll want to select original order. That's all we have for today's session. Thanks so much for joining us.